Question 13 from the school assignment. Now let me teach you how to write an equation from the word problem or rather translate word problem into equation and then solve. Question number 13 is Sam agrees to a house painting job of $900. He takes four days longer than expected and he has earned $1.1875 less per day than expected. In how many days did he expect to complete the job? So as usual, last statement is always, most of the time, is telling you what we need to find. We don't know, we define a variable for that, okay? So in how many days did he expect to complete the job? So let the number of days be Let's say D this time. So number of days be D. So that is a leg statement, right? Now let's read the problem once again to get the equation. Sam agrees to a house painting job for $900. He takes four days longer than expected. That means he actually does the work in D plus four days. So he completes the job in D plus four days. So job completed in, let's say job completed in D plus four days, right? And he earns eighteen point seven five dollars less per day. So that means we have to just find difference of per day cost, right? So which one was higher? Less of the days, higher the cost, right? So we'll do nine hundred divided by D minus nine hundred because ultimately he's going to get only nine hundred dollars, whether the job is completed in X days or Y days, right? So in this case it is D days or D plus four days. And this loss is, and he has earned so much less per day, is 1875. That is how you get your equation. So, the last statement tells you what to find. The second last statement tells you how to find. And the first statement tells you what all is given to you. So start with the last statement, define your let statement, Write down what all is given to you, develop an equation, solve it. And these are examples of rational functions. You get variable right in there, denominator, and a very simple way to solve it is multiply with lowest common denominator. So that is what we are doing always. So times it with lowest common denominator. And in this case, our lowest common denominator is d times d plus 4 all the terms right so when you do that what do you get you get 900 times d plus 4 minus 900 times d equals to 18.75 times d times d plus 4 and that leads to a quadratic equation remember here 900 d 900 d actually gets cancelled right so you only get 4 times 900 on the left side correct Expand this, bring them all together, so it is 4 times 900, that means 3600 on the left side. And then you can just multiply these, so you get 18.75 d squared plus 4 times this, right? So 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 7 is 28, 33, 4 times 8 is 32, 3, 5, and 3 is there, so 75. D. Bring them all together, use quadratic formula and find D. Once you find D, you have to write down your answer. That is, in how many days did he expect to complete the job? And that was defined as expected to complete in D days. So write down your answer very clearly, right? Then you write down your answer. It was expected to complete the job in 12 days. Do you see that? So once you solve this equation, right, you can use quadratic formula. If you don't remember, let me give you here. So quadratic formula will be d equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2 times a, right? And what are these abcs? These are ax square plus bx plus c, 0 equals right. So we'll bring this on that side, becomes 0. And the coefficients will be ABC. So D squared is 
18.75 is your A. Do you see that? B is the coefficient of D. 75 is B. And when you bring it there, then B, C will be minus 3600, right? Plug in all these values and get your answer. This is how you have to solve it, right? I hope that gives you a fairly good idea of understanding word problems and writing equations for them and then simplifying and getting to the answer. Most important, define the variables first when you start with and then write a complete answer along with the units. Thank you and all the best.